Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening that I'm so humble, glad, and blessed to be able to come and share prayer. And I will start with scripture, and it will be Isaiah 12, verses 4 and 5. And on that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, and make them remember that his name is exalted. Praise the Lord in song, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known throughout the earth. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come together and praise your holy name to lift you up and to thank you for your many blessings, to thank you for your love, to thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins, who was buried and who rose with all power, to thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be with us, Heavenly Father. And we ask that you pardon some of our sins, those we committed intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for my prayer partners. And your word says, when two or more gathered in your name, that you be in a mess. So we thank you that we can stand on your word. I thank you for Minister Allen, um, Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, the Allen Family Group, the Grateful Prayer Line, Prayer Chronicles, and my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call. As a matter of fact, Heavenly Father, we pray for every intercessor. We pray for every church that's opening in your name. Heavenly Father, let us draw near to you because your word says that we can cast all of our cares upon you. So we pray for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who need a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually. We pray for those behind prison walls, not only institutional buildings, but also um, bound by addiction and other things that um, have bondage, Heavenly Father. Oh, we pray for a supernatural release in your name, Heavenly Father, to be free from all of the things that has held us down, Heavenly Father. Your word says that in you, you have victory. We have victory. So we just come together and claim it, oh Heavenly Father. We continue to pray over our youth, especially all the senseless gun violence, the mass shootings, our children in school, Heavenly Father. We pray a covering over them for their safety, Heavenly Father to and from school as well as why they are in school as well as the educators and all of the support staff heavenly father all the things are just oh we pray we pray we pray things are so dark and cloudy heavenly father but we know that you are the light and we need to look to you we need to lift up our heads we need to pray to you we need to come to you we need to stand up for justice heavenly father give us the courage to be able to stand to do the right thing help us um we, we pray a covering over the law enforcement first responders medical personnel those in the transportation industry, and certainly our men and women in the military services. Heavenly Father, we pray for all of these peacemakers and these people of service, Heavenly Father, to do what you have called them to do, Heavenly Father, to make a positive impact, a positive change, to be servants, dear Lord. Oh, this world is going so crooked heavenly father and so divided but we know that we can come to you and we know that we can depend on your word so i thank you for my home church Cadiz baptist church senior pastor greg foster and his entire family and the entire Cadiz baptist church and again every church that's open in your name let us do kingdom building let us share the word so grateful for the evangelism night yesterday that we are encouraged to do your work, to spread your love, to share your word, to encourage others to try you. And just this past week, so grateful for yet another opportunity to honor veterans um, at the University of Michigan football game. They're veterans of the game um, group. And so grateful for, again, service and people coming together, um, being 
almost in a couple of car accidents and just knowing that it is God's grace that kept me. And because of that, I'm able to give this prayer tonight because I am kept. And if you have that testimony, you can leave me a message and um, don't be afraid people out there to share your testimony, how God has kept you. And, and, and it's for a purpose and a reason. And again, I pray over every child, every person, every family that has been affected by any of these mass shootings for us to draw closer together and try to end that horrible thing of senseless gun violence again um, for protection, especially over our youth. And Father God, I thank you for answering so many prayers. We know that you can answer this prayer. We just pray that you will. I thank you for um, being able to celebrate a dear family, extended family um, member who turned 100 years old and um, family members who came in and the traveling mercies that was extended. We cannot take anything from granted. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for my family, my friends. I thank you for this platform. I thank you for the many blessings you bestowed upon me. I know I don't look like what I'm going through. I pray for those who um, have invisible injuries um, or, or medical conditions. Um, I pray God's covering. And, and I know that when people don't look like what they're going through, we can constantly be questioned. But Heavenly Father, thank you for being a keeper. You left us in peace, so I too would say peace in the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that name that has all power. Amen. So if you have a prayer request, send me a message. Um, if you have a testimony, share it. Um, we are in this together, and we want God to be glorified. Peace.